My dear Form 2 students, welcome to Dalasa Online. My name is Edgar Andambike. I teach English language. My dear students, the lesson today is about writing personal letters. Writing personal letters. And writing personal letters is our main topic. The subtopic is all about writing friendly letters. Writing friendly letters. My dear students, this topic will enable you to write personal letters. Once you have covered this topic, you'll be able to write personal letters. Something which is very important. As a Form 2 student, you are supposed to know how personal letters are written. My dear students, we have a question which will guide us throughout the lesson. And the question reads, why is a personal letter also called a friendly letter? Why? Why? Do you think there is a relationship between something personal and friendly? Why? You have to ask yourself, why? Can you brainstorm about this question? Why? Is it called friend because it is normally written to friends? Is it the answer? My dear student, as you can see the question here, the question reads, why is a personal letter also called a friendly letter? Very interesting question. Can you guess the answers? Why? Friendly. Something friendly. What does it mean? Okay, assume you have a friend. And I know, as a student, you have friends. How do you chat to each other? How do you talk to each other? How do you discuss? What kind of language do you use when talking as friends? What kind of language do you use at the time you talk to our relatives? Your brothers, sisters, uncles, your mothers, fathers. What kind of language do you use? Can you try giving an answer? Do you use a formal language? A language which is strict in official matters? My dear students, what kind of a language do you use? Don't you include some jokes when talking to your friends? Some slangs there? What kind of a language do you normally use? My dear students, so simply we can say, a personal letter is a friend letter because the way it is written, it is just like a people in normal conversation. Like someone talking to his friend, to his classmate, to his schoolmate, to her friend, to her classmate. That's the language you there. See? 
Friends are normally chatting, funny, joking there. So here, personal writer uses informal language. Say informal language. So informal language is the one used there. Actually, you cannot find official language there because such kind of letters are written to friends, to relatives, guardians, classmates, and others. So the issue language here is not formal. The language use is not formal. Full of slangs, colloquial words, omission of some letters. Because people write those letters as if they are talking to each other, as if they are in normal conversation. So it's common even to see there. A personal language. A personal language. Hey, you. Hello, my friend. What are you doing there? In writings. Bro, my sis. Mom. Hi, mom. Daddy. Auntie. Sweetie. Hello, love. Darling. You see? Very common. You can meet such kind of words when writing a friend letters. You see? So serious words cannot be found there. So the language is not formal. That's why sometimes friend letter, personal letters are also called informal letters. You can call them informal letters. Informal letters because they are normally using informal language, not official language. My dear students, have you ever written any letter to your friend, to your brother somewhere there? If you ever written a letter to your mother asking her to give you a pocket money, asking her to give you something, that is a friend letter. That is a personal letter. That is an informal letter. My dear students, so when writing personal letters, you have to observe the issue of language. The issue of language there should not be official. But someone can ask, what does personal letter mean? Uh, or explain, explain the meaning of a personal letter. Explain the meaning of a friendly letter. Explain the meaning of a informal letter. Somebody can ask you, my dear students, how will you answer such kind of a question? How? So the answer will be, very simple and known. Come on. Personal letters are letters normally written to parents or friends. Parents or friends. Sometimes they can be written to guardians. Guardians. They can be written to other relatives. You may write a letter to your uncle, to your auntie, to your grandfather, grandmother, to your cousin, to your niece, to your nephew, to your sister-in-law, to your brother-in-law. To your stepmother, you can write a letter. 
So those letters written to the people I have mentioned are informal letters. Informal letters. So when defining, don't get started. Informal letters are letters written to either friends, parents, or other relatives. And sometimes you can write even to your classmates. Because the friends are not necessarily to be at home where you live. You might have a friend living in Germany. You might have a friend living in America there or Asia. You might have a painful friend, painful friend, living somewhere, but is a friend. You can write him. You can write a letter informing him about your progress at school, informing him about, about different measures you are taking on how to make your life So, my dear student, it's my hope that up to this moment, you are able to say a little bit about the personal letter. Okay, can you tell me again? What is personal letter? What does it mean? Tell me. Because we've seen a definition. Where you are. Can you define? So, Keyword there will be relatives, parents, friends. You see? Those are keywords which must be there when defining the meaning of personal data. Don't forget to include such keywords. Friends, parents, relatives. You can add even guardians. Because we're parents sometimes, parents, guardians, you are living with your uncle, your auntie, your grandfather are taking care of you. So there, they are your guardian. Because they are the one who are responsible about you. See? You can write them. My dear students, let me ask you a question. A very simple question. Why do people write friendly letters? Why? Why a person decides to write a friendly letter? Why? Why? Read the question there. Why do people write friend letters? Why? What are the reasons behind writing friend letters? Yes? Can you guess answer there? Why people? Why? So the answer is very simple too. We normally write letters to communicate. To communicate. To make communication. The question is, communicating on what matters? Why are you communicating? Why are you communicating? Why do you communicate? People are there writing letters, friend letters to communicate. So the question, the, the purpose of such communication, because a person may write a letter to greet someone, to send greetings there. That's the communication. You are greeting 
beating your mother. Probably your mother lives somewhere distant from the place you are. You have to greet by using a letter. Dear mom, how are you? How is work there? You greet your mother. So the papa there is just to greet, greetings. You may greet your father. Probably you are schooling in boarding. You may send a letter, you may write a letter to your parents to greet them. Communication, you are communicating there. You may write a letter to warn somebody, to warn. Eh? To warn somebody about something bad. You are warning him or her. Maybe she is your friend. Or he is your friend. And you have noted something bad done by him or her. And you are not close at the particular moment. You may write a letter. Warning. Don't repeat a certain issue. Just warning. You are warning him. You may write a letter. Also, is a communication. You, you are communicating. You may write a letter to advise. You may write a letter, eh? greeting, warning, advising, to advise a person. Maybe he's your brother, he's your sister. You want to advise him or her about something. How to sail well in his or her studies. How to be a good student. How to obey school rules. How to be obedient. You are writing a letter. To advise, to give an advice. You may write a letter to request, requesting. Requesting. You are requesting something. You beg something from someone, asking for money, requesting eh, your father or mother to give you something there, a request. A request. You may write a letter eh, to give your opinion to others, your opinion. Giving opinion. You are, you are thinking. The way you think about something. How things are supposed to be done. You are stand. You are suggestions. You may suggest there. You may give your opinion. You can write a letter. My dear students. Okay, good. Can you add more? Why? Do people write friendly letters? My dear students, you have seen. I have tried to mention some, few. Reasons as to why people write friendly letters. Can you add more? Can you think more about other reasons? Why do people write friendly letters? What about finding friends? You can write a letter. To find friends. What about educating? You can write a letter to educate someone. 
You can give him her education about something, giving him her knowledge, educating him. You see? That's a good way of who? behaving. You're educating people, warning people, eh? writing a letter to apologize to your mom, to your father, to your friend, to your classmate. Dear so and so, dear father, dear mother, dear Juma, dear friend, dear uncle, I'm very sorry for what I have done. You should be. So after having seen, after having seen the meaning of who? a friend letter, personal letter, informal letter, then we have seen the language used when writing informal letters. And uh, a little bit we've discussed about factors or reasons which force people to write a friend letter. So now, let us go to important part of friend letters. We are going to see components or elements of friend letters. We are going to see how these parts appear in a letter. We are going to see. Do you know? Can you mention them? Can you recall important parts? One, that's why I mentioned randomly. Mention them randomly. Yes? Think about important parts when writing a friend letter. My dear students, A friend letter has got many parts, many components. Other people say they are elements of a friend letter. Let us see. My dear students, look at these. These are important parts, important components when writing a friendly letter. First is about address, date, salutation, opening paragraph, opening paragraph. Others call it Extended greetings, a part where greetings are extended. Apart from a salutation, the body where a person light is target, where you can see the reason of lighting at it. Then conclusion. 
complementary clause, writer's name. So these are eight important parts. Some letters you can see there, there is no conclusion. There is only closing. There is no conclusion, only closing there. You see? So, starting with address. Here, an address. An address here is a part of a letter where you can find the post address, the box number a person can use to reply a letter. The box number of a writer. You are writing to somebody, you have your own address. It might be your fellow's address, your, your family address, a certain institution address, it might be your school address. Thus, you can see those details in this part address. Your box, so and so. Then we have date here. Date. A date is very important because it helps to know when the letter was written in case a person wants to make a reply. A receiver, after receiving a, a letter, he or she wants to make a reply. Then there is issue of salutation. Salutation. Salutation is very important. There. Welcoming flares. Welcoming sentiment. See? Dear father, dear mother, dear friend, dear Juma, dear daddy, hi daddy, hi mom, hi friend, dear auntie, and so forth. Salutation. Then an opening paragraph here. Number four. Opening paragraph. Opening paragraph, a part where a writer extends eh, greetings. There. And a giving his or her status to the one who is going to receive. How he is doing? Probably eh, with the studies or studies and others. Then the body, the main part of a letter, the core, where a person is supposed to put all of important points there. Why are you writing a letter? You are writing a letter to inform someone about something. So those points there, such information should be found in this part of who? the body, a main body. An objective of a letter. You are writing a letter to warn someone. So if you are writing a letter to warn someone, we have to see such warnings in this part here. So I cannot expect someone to put one his warnings in conclusion or salutation. Salutation, I warn you. That is not the kind of letter we are referring to. Warning, informing, apologizing, requesting, advising, you know. Greeting somebody, those are information which are supposed to be found in the part of who? the body. Then, in conclusion, a person, a writer, has to conclude the letter. Has to conclude the letter. And this comes immediately or follows the body. You see? You can see a person there. After finishing the letter, eh? maybe she is writing a letter eh? to her mother. Then here, in the part of conclusion, she can write. Don't forget to pass my greetings to dad and others at home. Say, say hello to my lovely brother there. Say hello to my Young sister, after getting this letter, please make a quick reply. Those are statements can be found there. 
when someone concluding his letter or a letter. Then, complimentary close. Complimentary close. A closing. A closing. Someone is closing. So this is quite different from conclusion. Closing. You can see what such a you was, you are beloved, you are lovely sister, with regards, you are lovely son, you are beloved son, you are daring. You see? A person is there closing a letter. Then, below closing, there is writer's name. So, those are the important parts which are supposed to be considered when someone writes a friend letter. But the important issue here, you have to know, this is not official. So, you can see there. You can see a language which is informal, not formal. You can see slangs there. You can see personal language there when writing. Okay, after having seen this part, so let us go to the part of uh, layout. Let us go to the part of uh, layout. How, how these components here, components are written, appear when someone is there writing a letter. My dear students, as we have already seen the components or elements or parts of a friend letter, let us see its layout, the way those parts are written. Okay, how many are there? Here, as you can see, let us count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So here, this is the layout. This is a layout of writing a friend letter. This part here, there is address. An address should be here. Then being followed by the date. The date is not a part of uh, address. Then here, salutation. Salutation. After salutation comes opening paragraph, as you have seen. Or extended greetings. Then here we have the body. The main body. After main body, we have conclusion, as you've seen there. Conclusion. After conclusion, what next? Do you remember? Can you name? After conclusion, what next? Here we have complementary clause.
complementary clause. Others call it complementary closure. It's okay, complementary clause. Then he, Lighter's name. Lighter's name. The name of a lighter. If you are the one lighting a letter and your name is Salome. So here we are going to see your name. We are going to see Salome here. Salome at the lighter. My dear students, this is a layout. This is a layout on how a letter is written. So the important thing to note here, a layout might appear in two style, affecting address, complementary clause, writer's name, and others there. For instance, an address here, you are writing a letter to your friend. And your address can be written either in a block style, block style, like this. This is a block style, this one here, a block, you see? Oh, if not a block, such letter can be written in a slanted style, slanted style. So, slanted style here, after peer box, the place here, we we'll start here. Full stop. You see? There is a space, a gap here. Eh? Indent. It's there. So this is a slanted style. So after having this style, then the date. So no matter the style you are going to use, that should be here. Here. Maybe it is 29th May. You see? In the same line with P, the first letter there, as you can see. So the style there is said to be slanted. That can be in this style or using numbers like this. Like this. Or sometimes a person can write like this. Also, it is tied there. But you have to choose one. Opt to use one. Not all of them. Then we have seen box and the date. Let us go to another part, which is salutation. Salutation. Salutation, it's there at the left side of the letter. While address is there at the right top of the letter. So a salutation here will be in this part here. Assuming this is a margin, a margin of your paper you're going to use, a margin, a line, you see? So your salutation should be closer to the margin, very closer, here. 
making an assumption, you are writing a letter to your father. This will be Dear father, like this. Dear father. And uh, this salutation, because it's just an independent component or part, should have its own line. So don't put in the same line with that of a date. If it's mother, dear mother. Or sometimes we say, hi mom. Hi mother. Hi dad. Dear uncle. Dear John, dear Juma, hello Ivan. You see? And others, a salutation. After salutation, we have opening paragraph. So here, because we have just decided to use this style, which is a stunted one. Others having a stunted style here. So when starting your Opening paragraph here, you have to indent. To indent means you have to make sure there is a paragraph here. A certain space there. So, your opening paragraph may start here. And here, just an example. How are you, father? How about home there? Back to me, I'm doing well. My studies right now are okay because I am making more effort to make sure that I perform wonderful. Can be there. Hey, having a paragraph here. A paragraph. Then he, you are going to have the body. So this paragraph might be written here. Yeah. Yeah. That's greeting to them. Extending your salutation. Then being followed by the body. So because here there is an indent there, also a body should start here, following this line. Yeah. That's an important. Just is an example. An example. I am writing to request you. To request you sending me some money because I have nothing now. Oh, I am writing to request you pocket money here at school. I am writing to request you buying me an English dictionary. I am writing to request you doing something, whatever. Depends on your purpose of writing at it. Also, this one, when you go like this, maybe writing a lot of things here. A lot of things writing here. Here. After the border there, then conclusion here. Also, should be here, conclusion. Starting from this point. Observing the paragraph. Please, Daddy, say hello to my lovely mom. Please, Daddy, don't forget to pass my greetings to others at home. You see? Like that. That is the conclusion. You are concluding your letter. After salutation here, that's an example. Because we've said this is too informal. As you hear, even a short form is allowed there. Hey? You see, here, please, that uh, this is just an example. I, just, I do guide you. I'm here just guiding you. So don't lie on this word here. An example, only an example. So please, that you can conclude the way you want. You see? After conclusion there, uh -huh. maybe it might turn there. Then he, being followed by a complimentary clause. And we have seen complimentary clause. 
You can say, because you are writing a letter to your father. Eh? Your father. So, a complimentary clause eh, will be less formal. With regards, you are loving son, you are loving daughter. Also, a complimentary clause should be here. Observing eh, this paragraph. Should start here. You are beloved. Okay, say, you are beloved son. You are beloved daughter. You are loving son. You are loving daughter. You are lovely son. Any can be used there. You see? After complimentary clause here, is there being followed by writer's name. Your name. What's your name? The one writing a letter. What's your name? What's your name? Probably your name is Chacha. So if your name is Chacha, here, we are going to see Chacha here. Chacha. Chacha, here. Let me write it well, here. Chacha. You see? So, Chacha is the name of a writer. Writer's name. So, Chacha is there writing a letter to his father. So, this is the way a friend letter can be written basing on this style. Eh? Because we have used this standard style when writing our address. So, here, this is a paragraph. Paragraph and here. We have to indent. So if if we have opted to use we have opted to use a block style. And a block style may appear like this here. Address being for a name of a place where your address is the restaurant. That's an example. Not necessary to be in the restaurant. Then date. Eh? It is 29th May 2020. Here. You see? That's a block. So if here there is a block style. Even you can have a line here. A block style. Saltation should be there. As it is. It is not disturbed. But here, instead of indenting, so it means this here, opening paragraph, will be closer at the margin. Like this. How? You, father. So this will be applied similarly even to other parts. Like this. The body. I am writing to inform you that on the coming week, we are going to close our school. So a letter there just to inform. So here we start closer to the margin. What about this one conclusion? Also, should be here. Please, Dad, eh, and the others. Please, Dad, say hello to Mom and the others at home. You see? Also, complimentary cross here will be here. You are beloved, let us assume, Chacha, you are beloved son. You are beloved son. You see? Then, writer's name, writer's name should be here. Chacha. 
You see? So, this is a block style. My dear students, it is a block style. Say block style. So, we have a block and the indented style. So, this one is the block style. My dear students, as at first, I told you that this lesson will enable you to write personal letters, to write letters to your friends. So I'm sure up to this moment, you are in a position of writing a friend letter. Not writing a friend letter only, writing by observing its principles of writing it. So I am not expecting somebody to write here, dear sir, stroke madam, as a salutation. No, that's the formal language. Oh yeah, you are faithful. That is formal language. You see? So you have to observe the language. The language you there. But if you are writing to someone older than you and respected, or even your father, it should be less formal. You cannot put more strength there when talking to a father. You see? But this depends on level of formality. To whom you are writing a letter. My dear students, so now let us move to another part of activities. Here we are going to see various questions and how they are supposed to be answered. My dear students, this is a part of activities. And the first activity here reads, a friend letter is written to people having relationship either by blood or friendship. By blood or friendship. Write different salutations by observing the listed relationship below. So here, my dear students, what are you supposed to do here? Just to know the target of the question, the demand of the question. So this question here is just to write salutation basing on the relationship there. Okay, you have given an example here. Your mother. You are just writing a letter to your mother. So what kind of salutation you may write there? The example here is, dear mother. Dear mother. But uh, sometimes you can say, dear mom, hi mom, dear love, and so forth. So this is an example. So let us see other question there. You are writing a letter to your sibling. How your salutation will be there? Might be dear brother if you are if you are writing to your brother, dear sister if you are writing to your sister. Another one here, you are writing a letter to your friend Gedu. Your friend Gedu, a salutation. How will be? It might be dear, dear friend, dear friend. Another one. You are writing a letter to a teacher. But uh, the answer here, very simple, it might be, dear teacher. To your classmate, will be, dear friend, it might be, hi, and others. What about your father and sister? Writing a letter to your father's sister. So the answer will be, dear auntie. What about your mother's brother? A salutation here will be, dear uncle. Because your mother's brother is your uncle. Here, writing dear uncle, hi uncle, hi brother, and so forth. Those are a glitch in the accepted the salutations. My dear students, let us see to question number two. 
activity number two. Here, the task is you to match the items. First, it leads. Match the weights in the column A with those in column B by writing the letter of the collective answer in column B against the number of words in column A. Just matching item. You are going to match here. See, read it. Column A, column B. And this is all about it, a friend letter. My dear students, observing its proper arrangement, list down eight parts of informal letters we've seen. Parts, elements, components. Activity four. Why do people write friend letters? Why do people? Why friend letters are written? Why? We've seen to inform, to request, and others. Another question here. Assume that you have a friend living in Germany. Write a letter informing her about it. Different measures the government of Tanzania is taking to build her economy. Your body should consist of five measures. Assume. Someone living in Germany. Write them, the measures. So, your measures here, you have to see what is done here in Tanzania. My dear students, this marks the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching. See you next time.